Okay, what we're gonna do today is make a radial, looks like these, um, from a square piece of paper. Uh, you're gonna need a piece of copy paper, and we have to make this square. So how you do that is you take one corner and you wanna fold it along the edge so that those, are, those two are together, and you've created a triangle like this, okay? And then you want to cut off that edge. I have to go find my scissors. Hi, I'm back. I found the scissors. Okay, so now we have something like this, okay? This long right triangle, we want to trim off. Okay, so now we have Ta-da! Um, what we want to do is we want to create triangles that radiate around the square, so we're going to fold this several times. We already have two triangles this way, so now we're going to fold the opposite way so that we have an X. You see the X? Okay, so now we're going to fold it in half this way, so let's divide it again. Do that okay and then one more time so now you have an X and a cross that's how you want it to be divided just like a big piece of pizza and I always like to open it up and fold it again as opposed to keeps folding smaller because then it kind of gets off a little bit and for this you want it to be as exact as possible all right so we have this now what we want to do is take a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so you can see it. I'm going to find the marker. Ha ha, found it. And we're going to draw a very simple um, pattern of shapes and lines in one triangle. So like think of one triangle and only one triangle. You're going to draw uh, simple shapes and lines. So and keep it very loose, um, big, so that you don't have to copy mine, but um, but so that when you go to color in, it's easy to color in. If you get teeny tiny, you're gonna end up not liking this assignment, but if you keep it big and loose, you're gonna enjoy this assignment. And it's also simple. I mean, it's lines, it's shapes, easy. If you get in there and get a little teeny tiny things, you're gonna hate this, so don't hate it. All right, so notice. Only one triangle, one. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna start showing our work to the window. Because what we wanna do is we wanna copy this all the way around. So take this side, this is the good side, and show your neighbor. See, hi neighbor, okay? And then you wanna fold it back over on top of itself, okay? And now you wanna trace that side. If you don't fold it back over on itself, you're tracing on the back of the artwork and that doesn't do you any good because then you're not radiating around. You're just um, mirroring on the back. And so now we have something like, are you ready for this? Are you ready? <gasps> like this. Whoa. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold. Ooh, see that little part right there? Much better. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this again. We're going to take this guy, the good side, put it to the window. This folded down side, we're going to trace again. Um, I want to let you all know that I really miss having you all in class. It is super quiet and there is not enough um, just conversations and laughter and joy in my life like it is at Sacred Heart Model School and I miss you all and all the silly conversations you all have in the art room. Okay, so we're tracing this out again. Boom. La di da. It's looking so good. Oh Miss Browning. Okay, so now you ready? You ready? Whoa. Okay, so you see how it's beginning to reflect itself. So then you, what you want to do is you want to fold it on a triangle 
and really doesn't matter which way you fold things, just as long as you are putting the good side, the inky side to the window to show your neighbor how awesome you are and you're tracing on the other side and so that the um, pattern is radiating around the piece of paper and not onto the back of the piece of paper. That's the most common mistake most people make. And this is how you make a radial design. Um, it's super e easy, yet very satisfying. Okay, so now it looks like this. And we got this one last section, so we're gonna fold that over, put the good side to the window. You can say hi to the runners who are out there running. Hello. You trace out your artwork. And the easier you keep your shape in the beginning, the easier it will be to trace this around. And if you got all complicated at the beginning, you are beginning to hate this project as you trace around it. So simplicity is key. So now we have this, all right? What I want you to do after you've completed this is get your crayons, your markers, your oil pastels if you have them, and I want you to color it like this. Um, right now, the symbol of rainbow is the symbol of hope during quarantine, and people around the globe are beginning to tape the rainbows to the windows so that passerby or see rainbows when they're out on their fresh air fresh air walks and they're reminded that we're all in this together so share some hope